so I'll go ahead and get started. Um, hello, everyone. Welcome to Good Afternoon Long Beach and our annual chamber meeting. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Natalie Layton, and I'm the Vice President of Membership for the Chamber. Um, before we get into it, I do want to go over some brief housekeeping. Please note that this event is being recorded and will be distributed to all participants as well as made available on our YouTube channel. And please make sure that you change your name to reflect your business and mute yourself when you are not speaking. Um, and please make sure that you stick around because we will be giving away a door prize um, that is a catered meal for four from our sponsor, Primal Alchemy. So thank you so much, Primal Alchemy, for your continued support and sponsorship. And thank you to LBS Financial for your wonderful sponsorship as well. Now we're going to get into the meeting and I am going to pass the baton, so to speak, over to Jeremy. Thanks, Natalie. Appreciate it. And uh, good afternoon. And thank you for all for joining us uh, today. This is a, a little bit different uh, than previous years. Well, let's be honest, the, the last uh, you know 16 months or so have been different um, than previous years. But uh, today's good afternoon in Long Beach is what we consider our annual meeting. Um, it's an exciting time for us here at the chamber and as members um, as we get to uh, elect, formally elect and announce um, new leadership in our organization. Um, but before we get into that and before we introduce um, our incoming chair who will be handling that portion of the meeting, just a couple of quick updates uh, on behalf of the chamber. And first, let me just start by saying, um, I think we can all agree the news has been very positive the last few weeks as you've seen uh, more of the um, health orders being rescinded or definitely updated and changed, uh, allowing for uh, gatherings, uh, the economy to get opened again. And that's something that obviously we take very seriously here at the chamber and making sure we have the correct information or pushing out the correct information. So all of our members, regardless of the industry that you're in, um, can you know, use that um, to make sure your businesses get opened. I want to remind all of you, if, if you do ever have any questions about the different updates to any of the health orders, whether it's local, what you're hearing out of Sacramento in terms of the governor's office. I know sometimes it could be very confusing and how it impacts you here um, in the city of Long Beach or in this region. Reach out to us, let us know. We've got a great uh, team that can help walk you through a lot of that. And if we don't have the answer, we'll certainly uh, find it for you. Along those same lines, uh, the chamber, uh, many of you are aware that we are on a July 1 through June 30 calendar year. So again, today's annual meeting is about electing our leadership starting July 1. But we are really starting to take a look at what does programming look like uh, for our members um, moving into the summer months and then of course into fall. Um, we believe we'll keep intact some type of hybrid approach, um, you know, the, whether it's the virtual and or in person. Um, so we're working on you know, technology that allow us to do that. So again, if we're in person, can we stream that particular meeting or program? And then we'll continue to offer up programming in a virtual environment for those that want it. Um, I know many of us, though, uh, can't wait to get back uh, in, in person, um, whether it's Good Afternoon Long Beach, whether it's a program done by one of our business councils, Women's Business Council, IBA, um, or even Marcel Business Council. I know we're all looking forward to doing that. Um, and then many of you who have been chamber members for a long time know us for a lot of our big signature events. Um, you know, we, we like to pack five and 600 people uh, in a location and uh, what that looks like in the future um, still is uh, yet to be seen, but I know they are working, they being the health officials um, on what does that look like. Um, so be, just uh, know that your chamber is definitely taking a lot of that seriously. Um, we are at the table and some of those conversations to help lend any advice that we can. But then again, once we get that information, we'll make sure we get it out to you all. So that's just a, a quick update on what's happening. Um, we've got our, our entire team on here. So if you've got questions about you know, current legislation or anything happening at the local or state levels, uh, Christine Boss, our government affairs manager is here. She can certainly answer that, whether it's via the chat or follow up. And then uh, certainly um, our entire chamber staff team, whether it's programming through our multiple business councils um, and or membership, uh, please reach out to us and, and let us know. So with that, I'd like to introduce our uh, speaker for this afternoon and help lead us through our program in terms of uh, electing our future uh, leaders and our board of directors. Um, it's with great pleasure that I introduce Carolyn Caldwell, um, the president and CEO of Dignity Health St. Mary Medical Center here in Long Beach. Um, she's a medical technologist by training. Carolyn also earned her bachelor's of science degree from the Alabama 
A&M University in Zoology and Chemistry and a Master's of Science in Health Healthcare Administration from the Texas Women's University. Carolyn, we'll have to talk about that zoology uh, degree there. That sounds uh, fantastic. Carolyn is a healthcare executive with over 30 years of experience in the industry and has always had a passion for working with communities of vulnerable and underrepresented populations. Her corporate leadership success has led her to receive numerous accolades throughout her career, including the 2016 Steve Chase 100 Women Award, the Palm Springs Life 2016 Women in Business Award, and many, many others. And we're grateful to have her as our next chair um, of the chamber. She led um, the, the very similar role in the Palm Springs Chamber. So we know we've got somebody um, who knows chambers, knows chambers of commerce, and certainly knows um, how to work um, with the business community, both large and small. So with that, I'm happy to turn it over to your next uh, chair starting July 1, 2021, Carolyn Caldwell. Well, thank you, Jeremy, uh, for that great introduction. And good afternoon, everyone. Um, as Jeremy said, I'm Carolyn Caldwell, and I am the president and CEO of St. Mary Medical Center Dignity Health. Our facility was founded by the Sisters of Charity of the Incarnate Word in 1923 and has served the Long Beach community for over 98 years. I have been very fortunate to be part of the St. Mary family for almost four years now. During that time, I've had the opportunity to work alongside some of the most remarkable and dedicated healthcare professionals. First, I want to express how privileged I feel to have been selected as the incoming chair of the Long Beach Chamber of Commerce. I've always believed deeply in the mission of the chamber, particularly its emphasis on promoting businesses that not only provide a wide range of goods and services, but also are active in our community. During my time in Long Beach, I've seen young professionals and families move here to work and call Long Beach their home. I've been responsible for relocating some of those individuals here. No one can deny that over the last 15 months, all of us in our community have been impacted in one way or another by the COVID-19 pandemic. It has taken a significant toll on our lives both professionally and personally. There is no denying that the economic impact on our community and on our businesses has been profound. Despite this, many of those same businesses rallied around the healthcare organizations and our employees. We were exhausted emotionally and physically from treating many COVID patients, but we received numerous donations of F of PPE, meals, and other tokens of gratitude and words of encouragement that helped us sustain. The business community helped us to continue to deliver the best care possible to our patients, to continue to embody human kindness to all who walk through the doors of our hospitals, and to make sure that every one of our patients received the best care possible. The healthcare community has been so fortunate to have a tremendous amount of support from my mayor, Robert Garcia, and all of our city leaders. And we cannot forget the heroic efforts of the brave men and women of the Long Beach Police Department and the Long Beach Fire Department throughout the course of this pandemic. Their partnership was critical. Their commitment was unwavering and their care and compassion was remarkable. I truly believe that we can work together to revitalize our city's economy while continuing to ensure we are making a positive impact on the well being of those we call our colleagues, our neighbors, and our friends. When our businesses are strong, our city will flourish. I look forward to working with my fellow board members and with the leadership of the Chamber of Commerce during the upcoming 2021-2022 year. I am so thankful to be involved in the Chamber during such a critical time in our history. 
I would also like to thank Marita Rogers for her leadership during this very challenging time in our community. Thank you. Now on to my first duty as the incoming chair of the chamber. As I am very excited to take on this new role beginning in July. I like to thank the chamber staff, Jeremy Harris, our president and CEO, Judy Nelson, our VP of Business Council. Judy is the staff liaison for our small business council, as well as our existing Women's Business Council and International Business Association. Our controller, Amy Hagee, who just celebrated her 10th year doing amazing work on our financials. Amanda Donahue is who is in her fourth year as special events manager and executive assistant. And I would just like to say Amanda is always there when I've needed her for anything. Christina Boss, who is in her third year as the government affairs manager. Marilyn Singer, who is in her fourth year as the membership coordinator. And last but not least, our newest addition, Natalie Lecton, who joined us last year as our VP of membership. I look forward to a productive and enjoyable year as the Chamber's Chair of the Board, and I'm excited about the high quality board members that will be serving with me. Now I'd like to announce my one-year board appointments for 2021 and 2022. John Bishop, Long Beach Memorial Medical Center, Mario Padora, Port of Long Beach, Manuel Guevara, Republic Service, Randa Hernandez, Verizon, John Howard, Chick-fil-A, Long Beach Town Center, Craig Eim, Wendy's, Deborah Layton, Montevel, Single Hill Petroleum, Dave Lipton, Travel Host, Beach Cities Magazine, Vic Knoll, Southern California Edison, John Perla, Port of Long Beach, Sophie Riley, TGIS Catering, Sue Sneed, YMCA of Greater Long Beach, Wayne Stickney Smith, Special Olympics, Southern California, Jesse Yuppie, P2S Incorporated, Ruben Zaga Zagaza, Southwest. And now for our council presidents who received an automatic board appointment. Joel Perla, Port of Long Beach International Business Association. Rihanna Acree, Chamber and Home Care Government Affairs Council. John Howard, Chick-fil-A at the Long Beach Town Center Small Business Council and Sue Sneed, YMCA of Greater Long Beach Women's Business Council. And we'll be announcing the president of the Long Beach Young Professionals Group in the near future. And now for the three-year board terms. Three-year board terms expiring June 30th, 24. Alice Brijo, Charter, Carolyn Caldwell, Dignity Health, St. Mary Medical Center, Megan Christensen, Bryson Financial, Brian DeVote, Farmers and Merchants Bank, Crystal Karachet, Wells Fargo, David Koch, Halbert Hargrove, Flavia Ochoa, Southern Cal Gas, Patty Cynical, Western State Petroleum Associates, Heather Summers, LBS Financial Credit Union, and Michael Turex, TABC Incorporated Toyota. At this time, I would like to ask you to approve this slate of three year board members. Do I hear a motion to do so? So moved. Thank you. And a second, please. I second. I second. All of those in favor, please say aye. 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 Are, there, are there any opposed? Seeing that they are not, I hereby officially proclaim this three-year board slate approved. Congratulations to all of our new board members. And thanks again to all of you for being here this afternoon. And I look forward to working with you. Thank you. 
Carolyn, thank you so much. I appreciate you handling the, the business of the chamber um, from a, a leadership standpoint here. And um, I know this is something we have to do annually and it's, it's important. So again, in this virtual environment, I know it's difficult, but we, we did it and we got it through. I appreciate those folks that are on the call and uh, supporting uh, this effort. I believe staff captured the motion correctly with the first and the second. So um, to both of our members that did that, thank you uh, as well. Please mark your calendars um, for June. And I know uh, we'll get into some of these special events, but in June, we'll be back um, uh, for our gala. Um, we'll formally introduce Carolyn. Also say thank you to Mitra Rogers at Boeing um, for her work this year as chair. Um, it'll, it'll look a little differently than years past, but we'll have more information on the gala and hopefully all of you can join us for that as we recognize these two individuals. We'll also be announcing uh, plans to celebrate uh, our own organization as we celebrate 130 years this year as well. So we've got some exciting programming put together and ways that we're going to celebrate um, starting uh, at the gala into the next chamber year. So uh, look more for that. Um, that concludes the business of the meeting. Um, so with that, I will turn it back over to Natalie Layton to take us through um, the rest of um, Good Afternoon Long Beach here. So Natalie, back over to you. Fantastic, thank you so much. Um, and for everyone familiar with our Good Afternoon Long Beach, we'd like to give everyone 30 seconds to introduce themselves and give a brief elevator pitch. So I'm going to go around the virtual room, if you will, um, so you all can highlight your business and the amazing things that it's doing. So I know we just heard from you, Carolyn, but if you'd like to go first. <laughs> Well, I would just say that, um, you know, this has been a very interesting year, particularly for healthcare and, and for all of us. And so, uh, as I said in my statement, I look forward to working with everyone. Um, I think what this pandemic has shown all of us and what I've learned, which I didn't think there was a lot more I could learn about healthcare, is just how resilient individuals are um, who work in the healthcare industry, not just hospitals, but as I said, our, our police and fire and, and our leaders. And so um, that is, is what I have. And, and I, I just feel very grateful for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Karen Desai. Hi, I'm Karen Desai, Artistic Director and Producer of International City Theater, Long Beach's resident professional theater company celebrating its 36th year this year albeit virtually for the most part for our productions and our education programs. And next up we have opening virtually uh, streaming on demand, April 29th through May 16th, a new comedy slow food about a midlife, uh, midlife aged couple celebrating their anniversary in Palm Springs. They arrive late and the kitchen is not yet closed at this restaurant and they have the slowest waiter in the world. So I hope you'll join us for a fun evening. Thank you. That sounds like a blast. Thank you. <laughs> now, Josh Evans. Hi, I'm Josh Evans from Akua Behavioral Health. Uh, we do primary mental health and substance disorder treatment, all levels of care, so detox, residential, as well as um, outpatient care. We are brand new to Long Beach opening up uh, where we'll be doing outpatient care, and I'm excited to help out in the community in any way that we can. Looking forward to being part of the chamber. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, and you're a new chamber member of ours. So thank you for joining us and thank you for hopping on this call today. Now, Leslie Smith. Hello, I'm Leslie Smith with McCormick LA Public Relations. I offer no nonsense marketing PR to small businesses and local nonprofits. I have a free webinar next week. Um, it is on Thursday from 12 to noon. I will put the registration in the chat. You, chat. you do need to register to get the Zoom link. And thank you to those of you who came to the Young Professionals panel that we did on marketing. Natalie, thank you for setting that up. It was a lot of fun. I think everybody learned a lot too. Thank you. Definitely, thank you. Steve Soto. Hello, I'm Steve Soto. I'm from Optimum Seismic. We're a seismic retrofit company. We retrofit buildings for earthquake safety. We've been around for 35 years. We've done over 3,500 projects and we're the oldest and largest company, retrofit company in California. Wow. So uh, we, do, we do everything in house. We're, we, uh, we do everything from A to Z and we don't, uh, go outside. So we're 
happy to be members of the chamber and we just love the possibility of meeting in person again. Thank you, Steve. John Harris. Oh, and good afternoon, everyone. I'm John Harris. I'm with a, a nonprofit in Carson called EXP, where we're developing tomorrow's workforce today for students from at risk uh, in your communities and uh, or high school students, I should say. And it's been a rough year for all of our students. I'm sure we're seeing it in the uh, in, in, in the paper. And uh, we've been a proud member of the chamber for a while now. And thanks for having uh, these types of uh, your forums to get together virtually is so different from getting together live, but uh, looking forward to getting shots in arms and uh, you know, continuing to, uh, uh, you know, to bring things back to some sense of normalcy. Thanks everyone. Absolutely. Thank you, John. And I wouldn't mind being wherever your background is. It looks wonderful. <laughs> well, today I'm in Tahiti. Uh, I just keep going Bora Bora tomorrow, you know, Chiang Mai, Thailand. I just keep going different places. All up here, of course. I'm here <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Thank you, John. <laughs> Lizette? Hi, everyone. I'm Lisette Martinez. I'm the manager of operations at St. Mary Medical Center Foundation. I have the pleasure of working with Ms. Carolyn Caldwell uh, at St. Mary Medical Center, and I'm in the foundation department, which help raise funds and facilitate gratitude uh, for St. Mary Medical Center. So we raise money for the community benefit programs or the various needs at the hospitals, such as capital improvements, medical equipment upgrades to advance the care of St. Mary Medical Center. So I think Carolyn touched about the work that we do at our ministry. So if you're interested in learning more about how you can get involved in supporting St. Mary Medical Center, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you. Thank you. Heather? All right. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Heather Summers, Senior Vice President of Marketing with LBS Financial Credit Union. <laughs> We're a not-for-profit financial institution, and we're focused on providing excellent service and affordable banking to individuals, um, while also giving back to the community. Anyone that lives or works in the local area can join our credit union. And one thing that we've got going on right now is um, it's home buying season. So we do have home buyers webinars that are free to the public or our membership as well. Um, if you attend one of our webinars, you can get um, a free appraisal um, on your uh, on your home. So our next event is on April 21st at 6 p.m. and I'll put that in the chat if anyone's interested in attending. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you, Heather. Martha? Thank you, Natalie. Martha Gonzalez with Miller Children's and Women's Hospital Long Beach. We're one of eight children's, um, freestanding children's hospitals in California, which makes us really unique having the Children's Hospital here um, in our backyard. Um, we are working on right now um, getting kids back to school or back to sports safely. As you know, the sports have opened up, yet a lot of kids and adults have been away from activity for quite a bit and for kids since they're growing and and um, they're at higher risk of getting uh, more injuries. So I have some uh, resources we can, uh, I could share in the chat, uh, but we have uh, one of our um, top docs, one of our orthopedics um, that specializes in children's uh, sports um, injury, talking about how to get kids back to sports safely. Thank awesome. You. Thank you, thanks so much. Oscar? Hello, good, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Oscar Velasco, also with LBS Financial Credit Union. Um, besides um, providing great customer service, we do offer, of course, a financial wellness program for everyone to take advantage of. If you'd like more information, um, please reach out to me. I'll leave my information in the chat. But basically, what this is, is um, basically it's a virtual seminar where I come, you know, present to your staff. And of course, right now it's virtual. And we um, provide different financial work programs when it comes to credit, budgeting, just different information to, um, to help your employees out. So if you want, um, please reach out to me. I'll leave my information in the chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Jeremy? Your, your resident uh, president and CEO of your uh, resident uh, Long Beach Area Chamber of Commerce. So it's great to see all of you. Steen. 
Hi everyone, Christine Voss. I'm the Government Affairs Manager for the Chamber, and as Jeremy stated earlier, I, um, my portfolio includes local, state, and federal legislation, and trying to keep on top of uh, changing health orders all the time. So you probably hear from me often. Thanks. Thank you. And Brad? Thanks, Natalie. I'm, I'm just a, a couple of beaches down from John Harris, <laughs> and uh, it's going well. I'm the director of the Long Beach Small Business Development Center, also known as the SBDC. And the SBDC offers no cost business advising to small businesses, businesses that are getting started, businesses that are growing. Uh, we serve about 17 cities here in the Gateway Cities, including, of course, Long Beach. And it's, it's advising offered by paid experts in their respective fields. And we cover a plethora of topics, you know, business planning and uh, branding and marketing and finance and accounting, business loan advice. Uh, we help clients figure out how to put their, their documents together so that uh, when they go to a lender, they'll, they'll have their act together, so to speak. Web and e-commerce, uh, management and operations, importing, exporting uh, across the board. So we're happy to help. And I wanted to say also, I wanted to thank Amanda particularly for being so on top of it and helping with the Rising Star award that uh, that is being offered. And Amanda, you rock and the chamber rocks and thanks for all of your help. You rock, Brad, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. And Amanda, I'll kick it over to you, why not? Great, hi everyone. Amanda Donahue with the Long Beach Chamber of Commerce. I am the special events manager and also the executive assistant to the president and CEO. Um, we have a lot of great uh, coming webinars and events, but I will go ahead and announce those at the end of the program. Thank you. Melody? Hi, my name is Melody Forsyth. I work with JCI Worldwide. We're a well-established uh, communications firm, PR firm, and, and uh, we're very excited. We're new members of the chamber, and uh, we, have, we would love to contribute in, uh, in discussions and bring uh, things to the business council that will affect the community and, and especially the business community in Long Beach. Thank, you, Thank so you for having us. Thank you so much and welcome to the chamber. Thank you Thank for you. joining us today. Next is another new member, Steve Siegel. Good afternoon, Long Beach. I'm Steve Siegel. I'm the owner of Stretch Lab. We are a boutique um, fitness and personal service um, doing one-on-one -on -one assisted stretching. Uh, we'll be opening our doors in the Long Beach Marketplace at uh, the corner of 2nd and PCH, hopefully within the next month and a half or so. I'm still waiting for a few details to, to trickle through the, uh, the city government. But um, we're in uh, pre-sales uh, right now and the Long Beach community has embraced us warmly and we look forward to doing the same um, as uh, members of the chamber. Awesome, thank you, Steve. Happy to have you. Thank you. Next, we have Yvonne. Hello, uh, my name is Yvonne Batiste. I'm the Outreach and Enrollment Director for WellBe Health PACE. That's the Coastline location. The PACE program is Program of All-Inclusive Care for the Elderly, and we enable frail and vulnerable seniors to continue living in their homes versus um, aging out into skilled facilities um, that could be in their private homes, apartments, senior housing, or assisted living. And we, we provide wraparound services. So they are able to get transportation to all medical appointments, um, medications delivered to the home, meals, in-home care. Um, our team is an interdisciplinary team. So we're able to provide services throughout the coastline area from uh, the Cerritos area down the coast up to Culver City. And the age group is 55 plus. Then, and Medi-Cal and Medi-Medi pays for the program. Awesome, thank you, Yvonne. And Meryl? Hi, I'm Meryl Cohn. I'm the COO at Water Safe Swim School. Uh, we are in Seal Beach in Los Alamitos. 
And uh, thank you to the chamber. We've gotten tons of support over those last year and always from you guys. Um, we specialize in baby swimming, especially drowning prevention. And we have programs for all ages. Uh, we also are having a very fortunate problem in that the sun came out, measures got lifted and we are full right now. So we're also hiring swim instructors. So if you guys happen to know any candidates, anyone looking for employment that loves swimming or loves kids, um, please feel free to send them my way. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. And Judy Nelson. Hi everybody, um, Judy Nelson with the Long Beach Area Chamber of Commerce. Um, I am responsible for our Women's Business Council, International Business Association, and Small Business Council. And speaking of the International Business Association, we have a really important event tomorrow at 4 p.m. It's free to members. It's about the um, clean truck fleet and drayage truck regulations. Um, Assemblymember O'Donnell is going to be joining us to talk us through some of the sticky points and it's going to be really interesting. So like I said, it's free to members. If you want to attend, we'd be happy to have you. And I just want to say a quick hello to Lizette. It took a pandemic for me to actually see your face. And we've worked together for so long and you're so helpful and wonderful. I'm just glad to see you in, in person. Thank you, Natalie. Nice to meet you as well, Judy. <laughs> Thank you. Next we have Lee. Yes, hello. Uh, my name is Lee Moran and I'm from the Long Beach Business Journal and Long Beach Post. And it's great to be here, just joined and just wanted to uh, say hello to everybody. And also now that uh, things are hopefully opening up and um, business is resuming a little bit. Anybody who needs marketing help, marketing efforts to uh, spread the word about their businesses, reach Long Beach residents, uh, we can certainly help. So. Look forward to hopefully um, resuming business with a lot of folks and, and um, helping everybody uh, get back to uh, success. Thank you. Thank you. And Gina? Hi everyone, Gina Gillum from Pediatric Therapy Network. I am the Institutional Giving Manager. We're a nonprofit that's located, headquartered in Torrance, but we have a site in Long Beach as well. And we provide, uh, early intervention and therapeutic services for children with special needs. So we are there to help kids that need that extra helping hand to take a, their first step, say their first words and make new friends and be the best they can be. Wonderful, thank you. And Ajma? Hi everyone, um, um, I'm Ajma Hege. I'm with the uh, Long Beach Area Chamber of Commerce. Um, I am their controller. So if you have any questions about your membership and member payments, let me know. Thank you. Thank you. And Marilyn? Hi everyone, my name is Marilyn Singer. I am the membership coordinator with the Long Beach Chamber of Commerce. If you're a member and you don't know how to navigate your membership portal or you're not sure you're using your membership benefits to the full extent, please reach out to me. Thank you. Thank you. Mary Ellen? Hi, I'm Mary Ellen Mitchell. I'm Executive Director of Women, Women's Shelter of Long Beach, and we provide um, services to victims of domestic violence and their children, all at no charge. We also provide a lot of community education and presentations at um, all of the schools here in Long Beach and surrounding areas, as well as uh, colleges and clubs, anybody would like a presentation on domestic violence or sexual assault awareness, um, please feel free to contact me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Lauren? Good to see you all. I'm Lauren. I'm with Rise Up For You. Have you thought about getting more leadership development either for yourself or people around you? We have a RISE leadership program that's just started this month. We have 15 countries in the program. It's pretty awesome. And 50% go to the Female Lead, which is a nonprofit doing pretty amazing research, actually internationally. I'll post a link in the chat. It's great to see you all. I'm Lauren with RISE Up For You. Thank you so much. Jonathan? Good afternoon, everybody. Great to be here. 
my name is Jonathan Bruckner, your, your Cutco Kitchen Connection. Uh, I just wanted to say hi to everybody and hope you're all having a fantastic day. Uh, typically, uh, one of the questions I get asked, Cutco, is uh, which type of steel is better for knives, German or Japanese? And I tell them always, American, which is why we won the war, and they didn't. So that's why you want to get Cutco, because unlike us, it's guaranteed to last forever. Anyway, I will uh, put all my info in the chat. I'd love to learn a little bit more about you and your business and uh, see if there's a way we can work together. So um, yeah, everybody have a great rest of your afternoon. Thank you, Jonathan. Laura? Oh, you're on mute, Laura. Thank you so much, Natalie. Sorry about that. Hi, everyone. My name is Laura Knapp. I am the center dean at DeVry University and it's Keller Graduate School of Management located here in Long Beach. Um, we've been in Long Beach for a very long time, over 25 years. And I think we've been members of the chamber for about that time as well. And I, as the center dean, am in charge of kind of outreach and developing community relationships. We also do have a group tuition rate for all members of the chamber, all organizations that are members of the Long Beach Chamber, as well as their respective employees. And what we do is we offer undergraduate and graduate degree programs, mainly in business and HR and project management and technical areas, very career oriented areas. We are regionally accredited. And at this point, we're mainly online, although we do have the campus and hope to return. Hope to return soon. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Laura. And Dana? Hi, Dana Buchanan, Primal Alchemy Catering and Events. Um, we have a Mother's Day menu and Cinco de Mayo menu that are coming up for our holiday meals and our pantry is still open on the weekends. We're starting to do small events. Um, I've, I've been simultaneously during this meeting on a call in, in a room in Clubhouse um, for the California Event Coalition trying to get an update on what the guidelines are. Um, and it's been, it's been fascinating and interesting and kind of disheartening. So hopefully we'll have guidelines um, by the end of the week. If not, uh, it's gonna be a while, I think. So um, yeah, there's that. So thank you. Thank you, Dana. Next we have Seth. Maybe he stepped away from the computer. How about Alicia? Hi everyone, I'm Alicia Berha. I'm the Director of uh, Government Affairs for Charter Communications or also known as Spectrum. Uh, we are here for your business and residential needs uh, on all things broadband. Uh, so that could be internet, cable, your Spectrum News One, um, or even uh, now we have Spectrum Mobile. So we are looking forward uh, to working with you all this year. And I am very happy to be serving on the board uh, come June. So thank you for that uh, vote of support. Thanks, thanks again. Thank you so much. And Dave? Dave Coe, I should say. Hello, David Coe, Dabco Realty Advisors. Um, sorry, I am uh, not quite as visible as others right now, but a little technical difficulty. Um, yeah, things are wrapping back up. It's great to be a part of it and love the optimism here. Um, help you with office space. We're advisors. We help you if it's big or small, downsizing, increasing size, whatever it may be, can help you out. Take care. Awesome. Thank you. We'll come back right back to Seth if you're there. No, nope. all right. I am going to um, pass it over to Amanda for some announcements and then we will announce our door prize winner. And then since we do, we'll probably have some extra time if anyone wants to hang out and go into some breakout rooms, we will do that as well. So Amanda, off to you. Yeah, so we have a lot going on over here at the chamber. This Thursday, April 15th at 10.30 a.m., we'll be having our final webinar in our Small Business Recovery and Resiliency Series that will feature our Government Affairs Chair, Rihanna Nakree with Cambrian Home Care, and our current Chair of the Board, Mitra Rogers. Wednesday, April 28th at 4 p.m., we'll be having our Long Beach Young Professional Social with Trusted Gut Brewing. And Thursday, April 29th at 4 p.m., we'll be having our annual City National Bank Entrepreneur of the Year 
where we'll be honoring our Chick-fil-A Community Spirit Award honoree, HCVT Corporate Citizen of the Year, and the Long Beach City College Sean R. Lumaki Rising Star Award. And this year for the first time, we'll also be presenting the Don Temple Storage Philanthropic Pioneer Award. So that is gonna be a live stream event and it's gonna be free to all of our members. So we welcome you all to join. And lastly, uh, the next Good Afternoon Long Beach will take place on Tuesday, May 11th at the same time as always, which is noon. So thank you so much. And we hope we can see you at one or all of our upcoming events. Thank you so much, Amanda. Yes, please do join us at our next Good Afternoon Long Beach. We have an exciting membership announcement that we're really happy to share with you all. And um, Trent Bryson will be speaking, which will be awesome. Now, I do want to announce our door prize winner. And as a reminder, our wonderful sponsor, Primal Alchemy, um, provides us with a catered dinner for four as a door prize. And today's winner is Yvonne. So congratulations, Yvonne. <laughs> I will be reaching out with more details on how to redeem your prize. Now, if you all would like to stay and join our breakout rooms, um, I have them all made and I will send them in, I will send you into them, I should say. Um, but I 